Ruby and today I'm going to be showing you a university night routine. This is somehow the only night routine I have filmed since starting at Exeter, which I know is bad because I get so many requests to do it, but I'm doing it today and it's a special night routine as well because it is a night before an exam routine. This video is also very, very kindly sponsored by Exeter University, which is so exciting because if you've been watching my videos then you will know that I am studying at Exeter University at the moment and so I'm so excited to be working with the university on this video. So on the night before an exam I will usually finish work at around 5.30 so that I have time for a proper night routine where I can relax and get ready for tomorrow. So the first thing I will do is just write a little plan to-do list of the things that I want to do tomorrow for revision. And then I'll just do a tiny bit of editing before checking my timetable. So tomorrow's exams were actually my first exams, so I wanted to write all of the locations up on this post-it note and put it on my planner so that I would always have it with me and then I just tidied up my desk space. Then I decided to do the washing up and I will listen to classical music whilst I do this. I pretty much just have classical music as background for the whole of this night routine just because it helps to keep me relaxed and it gets me in a really good state of mind ready for tomorrow. Then next it's time to get started with cooking, which is actually one of my favourite things that I've found since joining Exeter and studying at university. I'm staying in a studio flat in halls this year and I really love having the kitchenette in my bedroom and being able to cook my own meals because I sometimes did it at home but I didn't do it very often. And today I was making one of my favorite dishes, which is really simple. It's just a tofu scramble. So you add some silken tofu, turmeric, nutritional yeast, and also some tahini I like to add. And I also cook some broccoli as well to go along with it. I decided to serve this with a bread roll. And whilst it was cooking, I just went and did some YouTube admin because I had quite a lot of things to do. Then I sat down to eat. Dinner today was absolutely delicious. I like to cook one of my favorite things the night before an exam because it's a real treat. And I also kept a notebook on my desk. I needed to think of some ideas for something exciting coming up. It was really easy for me to just jot down things. So I got the task done over dinner. Then I immediately cleaned up and went and washed up all of my plates and dishes. And I also posted a study with me because I'm posting daily study with me's at the moment. Then I will do my last check of emails and I might also check social media here but this is the last time I'm going to go on social media this evening. It can be really distracting before bed and especially the night before an exam you really want to make sure that you're well rested. So then I went and got everything ready that I would need for my exams tomorrow so that includes having your exam pencil case, you need your student ID as well so I have my extra student ID and I got that ready. And I also filled up a water bottle. As with GCSE and A-level exams, at university you cannot have labels on the water bottle. Then I close my curtains and today was, it was a really beautiful day earlier but it was really cloudy in the evening. And as you can see, still got the classical music going strong. Mm -hmm. 
Then I chose my outfit for tomorrow. I really like to make things as streamlined as possible for the next day because I don't want to have any added distractions in the morning. I just want to have a really calm exam morning. Then I went and took down my hair because I was going to wash it. And I had a shower. Next, I just brushed out my hair. I don't always do this if I'm completely honest. I probably only do this maybe once or twice a week, but I did brush out my hair today. Then, of course, you've got to brush your teeth. And because it's me, I was obviously reading as I was brushing my teeth. And at the moment, I'm reading this book called Walden, which is an American classic. And so far, it's one of the best classics I've ever read. I won't do that much revision the night before an exam, especially after five when I finished my main revision for the day. But I do like to read through essays in the evening after my shower. I just find it's really helpful just to refresh and jog my memory. It's very passive revision, but it reminds me that I do know I do know this stuff and it gives me a confidence boost. Then I will set my alarm and I get really anxious that I'm gonna sleep through it, even though I literally never do. So I end up setting so many all the way to nine o'clock, which is just silly. So then I will get out my exercise mat and I just like to do some gentle stretching because I find this quite meditative and it helps to calm me down. I really enjoy the process of stretching. And I also like to use this lavender eye mask. Put over your eyes and it's really relaxing. Then I will tidy up my room and get myself a bottle of water. Of course it's important to get yourself some tea and whilst that brews I like to maybe drink half the water bottle and then fill that back up. Today I was having this bedtime tea from Sainsbury's. Every night without fail, I will spray my white lavender, the white company pillow mist. It really helps to get me to sleep and it's really relaxing. And I recently got these rollerball essential oils from the white company and the relax one is the same scent as the pillow mist. So for ultimate relaxation on the night before an exam, I will always put this on my wrists. And then I will get into bed and I will turn on my little polar bear light and I will read. I will probably read until about 10.30. And then I will turn off the light and go to sleep. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. And I hope that if you are in exam season yourself at the moment, that this was somehow useful in informing your own routine. I wanna say another huge, huge thank you to Exeter University for sponsoring this video. As I said, I am a student at Exeter and I'm loving my time here. I was nervous to go to university as I know so many people are, but I just feel so at home at Exeter, everyone's so lovely, it's a really pleasant community and especially because even though it's a city, it's a small city and there is lots of greenery, so it feels kind of like home still. So since starting here I've had so many people messaging me telling me that they're thinking about going to Exeter, that they're going to come next year and if you are thinking about going to Exeter, there are actually two open days at the end of May, so there's one on the 31st of May which is a Friday and then one on the 1st of June which is a Saturday. So if you're thinking about going to Exeter and you 
once you learn a little bit more about the university then I definitely recommend trying to find the time to come because from personal experience I can tell you that university open days are so 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 important and even if you're not entirely sure if you'd like to go to a particular university it's really good to keep your options open and look at as many as you can because you might just go into one of the introductory lectures and think whoa this department is the one that I want to be a part of so if you are interested in learning a bit more about Exeter then I definitely recommend going to the open days on the Friday and Saturday. Yeah, so uh, another huge thank you to Exeter for sponsoring this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that you have a productive week.